Hi, and welcome back to Analyze Maths. Today, we're going to look at density, mass, and volume. Now, this is another one of the formula that you need to learn for level two functional skills. So when we're looking at density, mass, and volume, we're looking at it the same way as we looked at speed, distance, and time. We're looking at it in a triangle. So we've got our density, mass, volume triangle, DMV. Um, this way, we are learning three formula by learning one triangle, because don't forget things that are next to each other, like this, this D and this V mean to multiply over each other is to divide. So you're covering up the one that you want. So if I want density, it's mass divided by volume. If I want mass, it's density multiplied by volume. And if I want volume, it's mass divided by density. So I'm covering up the one that I want. Now, volume will be a standalone topic in level two, and I will have a video on that shortly. Um, but volume will be a standalone topic. Now, one of the things I want to talk about is the units used for this. Now, um, to calculate the density, as we've said, density is mass divided by volume. Now, my mass is going to be how, how heavy something is, basically. So it's going to be in grams or it's going to be in kilograms. It might be in a different format and you need to do a um, conversion of a um, imperial to a metric measure first. Um, but your mass is going to be in either grams or in kilograms. Your volume is going to be in either centimetres cubed or metres cubed. They're the units we use for volume. And again, when we look at the volume lessons, uh, we'll look at that in more detail. So similar to speed, speed is in miles per hour or is in kilometres per hour. Density is in grams per cubic centimetres or kilograms per cubic metres. So these are the formula that we use. These are, sorry, the units that we're using for density. Um, sometimes you are getting marks for your units. So make sure you're mindful of those. So again, density, mass, volume. And once we learn this triangle, which is something you are expected to know, once you learn this triangle, you should be able to answer any density, mass and volume question. So that being said, let's have a look at a couple. So here's four questions. What I would like you to do is pause the video and give these a go for me, please. OK, let's have a look at these. So this first one, the density of a statue is 15.6 grams per centimetres cubed and the mass is 450 grams. Find the volume. So they want this one to two decimal places. So again, density, mass, volume. So I'm looking for volume, so it's mass divided by density. So my mass is 450. My density is 15.6. And if I do that to two decimal places, you should end up with 28.85. And because it is volume, it is centimetres cubed. I know it's centimetres cubed because it tells me in my density what units. It tells me I'm using grams and centimetres cubed. So let's have a look at this one. The density of a statue is 3.8 kilograms per metres cubed and the mass is 725 kilograms. So again, I'm looking for volume, so mass divided by density. So my mass is 725. My density is 3.8. So again, if I do that to two decimal places, I will end up with 190.79. I know it's meters cubed because it tells me in the question. So meters cubed. The volume of an exhibit is 140 meters cubed. The density is 150 kilograms per meters cubed. Find the mass. So this time I'm looking for mass. So this time it's density multiplied by volume. So my density is 150. My volume is 140. So if I multiply them together, I get 21, 1, 2, 3. So I get 21,000 and I know it's kilograms because again, it tells me it's kilograms per meters cubed. There's my meters cubed, so my mass is in kilograms. Last one, the volume of a material is 2,476 centimeters and the mass is 109, sorry, 1,978 grams. Find the density. So I'm looking for density this time. So it's mass divided by volume. So my mass is 1,978. My volume is 
2476. So if I do those, I get 0 0.80 and its density. So I've got grams per centimeters cubed. Okay. As per usual, if you have any questions, please pop them in the comments section. I will reply to you as soon as I possibly can. Best of luck with your studies and please, please, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day, everyone.